It's a Radio Shack Merry Christmas. This year, I needed to give a real family pleaser. Honey, please help me with this budget. How about a new game, Dad? Please. And I found it. Radio Shack's Color Computer 2. On sale for just $99.95. It entertains, educates, manages. It's expandable and affordable. Now that really pleases me. The Color Computer 2. Sale price for Christmas. Only at Radio Shack. Oh, hey, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Well, let's play another game for the Tandy Color Computer. Of course, I talked about that recently on the Retro Gaming Roundtable. If you haven't seen that yet, what are you waiting on? Go check that out. That was a lot of fun. So today, I'm going to play the first video game that I ever got. A game that I had with, or that... Santa Claus brought me with it Christmas morning. Mega Bug. <laughs> You'll see these games, they the label on these also wrap around to the end. So that you can see what they are when you put them in the shelf. <laughs> or stack them up however you want to. This is sort of a Pac-Man clone of sorts. I've never seen another one done quite like this. You'll see here in a minute how it kind of magnifies around you. And you're within a huge maze here and you got to watch outside the box there to see the other bugs or make sure they don't get you but this is the one that woke my parents up on Christmas morning because I already had it hooked up and was playing this <laughs> and when you hear it you're gonna know why it's <laughs> it makes quite the racket <laughs> and it talks too it's kind of cool you'll hear it when you die, it talks. Maybe I can get through at least one of these. It's really just an arcade style. It's all about points. If you die once, that's it. <laughs> you get one life. Like I said, these mazes are huge. And if you complete one, it just puts another one up there. It just changes it around. I've beaten maybe three before, before dying. And that's about it. It's kind of tough. And of course, the more you beat, the faster the little enemies get. <laughs> so yeah, it's tough. But let's play this. I want you to see it and hear it. <laughs> so let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> For some reason it plays La Cucaracha. Now check this out. How it magnifies where you're at. But you still gotta look outside the box. If you'll notice around the maze there, there's little flashing lights. That's where the enemies are. They're little spider looking things. And listen to the racket it makes every time you eat a pellet. And you leave a trail behind you, you can see. And the enemies will follow that. And you can kind of lead them around or lead them in a circle or something. You can use it to your advantage. can't get over there. There are places in these mazes that are kind of dead ends. Oh, oh, there comes one. Go back this way. He's coming behind me here. Oh, 
Ooh, gotta get away from him. Whichever way he goes, I've got to go the other way. So they can get you trapped. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, gotcha. They got me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, one life. Right, let's try this again. See if I can beat at least one for you. Maybe. This is another one of those games. Sometimes you turn it on and the maze is red. And the big bugs on the side, whoa, are red like this. And then sometimes you turn it on and it's blue, just like Downland. And again, I think the red records a little crisper. So we'll stick with that. had to turn it on and off a couple times to get it to the red. It started me on blue. Oh no. See, it's a true maze. You can find dead ends here and get trapped. Yeah, so this is the noise that my parents were hearing that Christmas morning. I imagine that would be pretty strange all of a sudden to be hearing this and not know what it was.
and playing this with the joystick. <laughs> Remember this thing does not self-center. That adds another challenge within itself. But once you get used to that, it's really not an issue. It sounds worse than it is. trail away oh no okay this was a dead end here whoa hey, gotcha. darn that was so close so close <laughs> well there you go <laughs> i'll go ahead and stop it there it's hard Sometimes I can beat it. There you go. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> well, I don't know. You can't say that you beat it. I can clear a stage sometimes. Sometimes I can't. Today I could not. Maybe I'll come back and play it again, and I'll be able to. But I ain't gonna waste a whole lot of time. Just wanted to show you this. I love this system. Have a lot of nostalgia for it, especially this game. It is fun to put in and play every once in a while. Cause it, like I said, it's it's different from Pac-Man. It is a clone of Pac-Man. That's quite a bit harder because the maze is so big. <laughs> and the way you can get trapped in dead ends, it, it's, it's tough. But it's a good challenge, a fair challenge, and I really like it. I've, always, I've had a lot of fun with this for a long time. <laughs> so thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time.